DJ Bad. It's time to wake the streets up. She says she don't like her music too new. Uh uh. And she says she don't like it that old either. Okay. I told her, baby, I know exactly what you need. She don't like it that no. And she don't like it that old. 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 I told her, baby, I know what you need. You need Southern Soul. Hey, you need Southern Soul. That's what you need, ladies and gentlemen. You need to feed that hunger that you have for some Southern Soul and Blues music. And that's what I'm going to do today for you. I go by the name of Poker Jones, and this is another edition of Southern Soul Live TV. Please tell a friend you found a grown and sexy party on Wednesdays hosted by Poker Jones on Amazon TV. Basically, that means you can watch this show all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just go to Amazon on your TV. Look for the Status Network app. It's a free app that we have. Look for the Global Vision section, and you'll see every single episode of Southern Soul Live TV with Poker Jones on Amazon all over the world. I did this, and I built this platform for Southern Soul and Soul and Blues artists so they could be heard independently or on a major scale. It don't matter. I just want the people to have quality music. Let's do what we do best, y'all. Back to speaking about Father's Day. I hope every father had a good Father's Day weekend. Here is something hot that I like uh, that, that pertains to fathers. Here is a rendition of A Change Is Gonna Come by Brian Owens and Thomas Owens. Father and Son. It's Southern Soul Live TV. Poker Jones. I was born by the river in a little tent. Mm -hmm. Like the river, I've been running, mm -hmm. running ever since. It's been a long But I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Mm. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there. On the sky, it's been a long, a long time in coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it is. I 
y'all think about that i want to send that i sent that out that was my gift that was my gift to all of the fathers for this past father's day that was brian owens and thomas owens with their rendition of a change is gonna come i want to speed this thing up y'all because it is that season uh charnetta Hyder and jj collier they have a song out a video that's called stiletto and jeans we're about to play that right now on Southern Soul Live. I need everybody to get up out your seats, get up out your cubicles, get up out the bed, get up off the couch. It's time to party, y'all. Southern Soul Live TV. Let's get it. I need everybody with them stilettos, boots, and tight jeans. Make your way to the dance floor. You know what time it is. Stilettos with my tight jeans on.
say take Kanye, baby. Please say the baby. I mean you drive me crazy the way you looking, lady. So let loose, tight jeans, moving with your set it on. We go pop pop party, pop pop party till the break of dawn. We got them trail riders jumping on the dance floor. Shuffling, shuffling, till they just can't no more. One hand, two hands, put them in the air. Cause we go party, we party like we just don't care. y'all thought about that what y'all thought about that that's some hot music man i told you man you hear a lot of hot artists here on soul soul live tv that was me in the video the dark skin older dude that was dancing with the lady he was the most turnt one in the video that's what i'm talking about some good quality music ladies and gentlemen we lost a legend over the weekend man we lost one of the greats we lost somebody i liked as an artist somebody I actually knew and i supported and we supported each other i'm talking about bishop bullwinkle ladies and gentlemen he was a great artist he was a one of a kind type of artist too, you know. Uh, you know how you always meet an artist that have a have a a certain thing about themselves, and uh, they always memorize and they always known for that certain thing. He would say certain gestures, he would do certain things, and that's how you knew it was Bishop Bullwink. He was just one of them guys, man. He was good, he was genuine, and if you knew him, you knew him, right? So rest in peace to rest in peace to Bishop Bullwinkle, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one of the greats to do it. He was booked all the way up to his uh his his time of uh, leaving us. He had shows all the way up to the so basically what I'm trying to say, he he lived doing what he wanted to do. And that's how you do this thing, man. Live to do what you want to do. Live every day like it's your last day. Live this thing all the way up. You see, I do. This is what I want to do for a living. I do entertainment. I love to entertain the people. I love to give people quality music. Southern Soul Live TV. Also, rest in peace to Reggie P, man. Here's a remake of Reggie P's song. Reggie P was a great artist. Look up Reggie P if you want to know, too, about a great soul and blues artist. Y'all see, I ain't reading no script. I love what I do. I love y'all, man. Please share the video. Please share the video. Uh, Reggie P, he also went to be in a group with one of my favorite uh, artists, Gentry Jones, Neil Jones and all them. Uh, they got some hot records, man. They have a hot record that a lot of Southern Soul and Soul Blue J DJs play. Uh, it's called, um, what's the name of that record? What is the name of that record? Uh, somebody put it in the comments. What's the name of the record? Roll it, roll it. There you go. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, thank you. Thank you to the comments. While I'm in the Facebook, let me give a shout out to Marva Callahan. Thank you for sharing the video. Sherry Buckner, uh, Willie Mil Miller, Kimberly Henley. Please share the video, y'all. Angela Lioness Jackson, thank you, babe, for sharing the video. P2K, Kimberly Seals, Volton Wright. Volton Wright also has a new video that I'll be playing. And uh, something special about Volton Wright, I'll tell you guys more about that next week. He's also a, a soul and blues artist in Louisiana doing his thing. Shots out to the boot. Sherney Greer, everybody on the check-in. Once again, please share the video. And right now, I want to play that new remake, that new rendition of Why Me. Uh, it's a remake of Reggie P's record, and it was done by his one of his group members, which is Gentry Jones. Here is Why Me on Southern Soul Live TV with Poker Jones. Yo, man, I was just thinking about you. Man, reminiscing about when we had our band back in the day, Street Wave. We were kids. Then we moved on. Got to see you uh, perform with the Barcades. Then 
got to see you as your solo artist. And remember all the times we used to kick it. Yo, we're going to do this for your fans, man. For your memory.
I thought about that. That was the remake of Why Me. The original track was made by Reggie P. That's a remake by Gentry Jones. And one of the members of the group, Neil Jones, hit me up one day. Man, made me feel good. He said, I like what you're doing, Poker Jones. Let me know if you need anything. That's what this is all about, ladies and gentlemen, helping each other. We're going to try we taking. We're trying to take this movement worldwide, globally. These artists deserve it. The sound deserves it. Uh, since the beginning of the show, I always told you my purpose for doing Southern Soul Live TV. My whole soul purpose for doing this show is to basically change the sound of music in the uh, neighborhoods. If you hear quality music, if your children get to hear this type of music all through the day, it gives you a different message. You, uh, it gives you a di different outlook on life. I mean, positive music only brings positive changes positive outcomes i mean that's the only thing i'm really concerned about when it comes to putting out music music is a message ladies and gentlemen so we have to be careful with whatever type of message that we promote and i want to promote the type of message of love and unity to my people i'm not going to promote records or videos that talk about death destruction drug use violence I can't do that. I don't want that for my people. I want to be loved all the time. So let's get back into some quality music. Here's one of the greats to ever do it. What y'all know about Lil Milton? How many people on the timeline ever heard of an artist named Lil Milton? Here's one of his live performances. This song is called My Old Lady. sitting at the bar in my favorite cafe and it makes oh what a stranger I came walking my way yes he did he said do you mind if I sit down next to you he started talking about his woman And what I was hearing, I was hoping it wasn't true But when he kept on talking I knew it was no baby Listen, his old lady And my old lady Oh, she was the same lady Ain't that rough? said she had a sister and was fine as could be and oh her sister's name oh her name was Christine yeah but here's the part that really got to me he said Milton Jr. was the name of her baby and her mother's name just happened to be Sadie. Oh, I knew right then that this was no baby. His old lady and my old lady, she was the same. the 
same lady Anything on your computer, you need to get Grammarly. I write pretty much. Right now, we calling up uh, Junior Blue. We get him on the phone for, for his live interview, and so he could tell us about the new world premiere record that he's dropping that he brought to Southern Soul Live TV. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, when we got Junior Blue on the phone, talk to him, brother man. Hey, how you doing, Fuller Jones? How you doing? You live on Southern Soul Live TV, so whatever you say, the world will hear it. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing. I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Uh, we love. Yeah. I love the new record. They ain't seen the record yet. They ain't seen the video yet. You working hard for everybody that's not familiar with you. Here is a picture mm -hmm. of him right here on my TV screen. If you're on Facebook, please share the video. YouTube, wherever you are, please share the video. Once again, please tell the people more about you. Inform them with who you are. Uh, well, well uh, again, I go by the name of J.R. Blue. Yes, sir. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, um, originally from uh, Ruleville, Mississippi, the Delta. And I've been recording. I've been, I've been doing this recording for a while. Uh, the latest project I've been working on um, is off of the chain. It's a record called Change, and I just put out uh, I Care. I'm just a typical person. Um, you know, grew up in the Mississippi Delta, back and forth here in Memphis. Uh, I lived in. I, I left here, and went to Atlanta back in the days, pursuing my music career as well. Strictly south, uh, actually, huh? I said again. You like me? You you're a southern boy. You like me? You yeah, stay. You, you stay. You southern. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, me. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. But uh, I, man, I I've been out. Uh, you know, from selling the CDs out the trunk of your car. You know. You know. Um, just selling forward in the business. Uh, so uh, uh, what I do. So how did you come uh -huh. up with the name? How did you come up with the artist name J.R. Blue? Is that your real name? How did you uh, come up with the name? Uh huh. Uh, junior. I'm a junior. Right. And I had blue eyes. Everybody, all, all the ladies, are you got blue eyes? You got blue eyes? Blue, blue, blue. And so I just, I took it and I just ran with it. I ran with it. I'm a junior, so Jr. And they always called me Blue. Nice, nice, that's, nice. Yeah, uh, we, 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 we'll be debuting his new record today, y'all. It's called I Cared. Right now, we got mm -hmm. Junior Blue, J.R. Blue, on the phone, and he is a Southern Soul blues artist. This is an artist that needs to be on one of your stages, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a club or a venue, this man is moving. He's doing a lot of great things. He's going to have more time on my TV show later on in the future, but I'm going to let him go because he got a lot going on. I want to thank you for stopping by, and please introduce your new record to everybody as I play it right now. Please introduce it to the world. Okay, world, world, Atlanta, whole world. Um, I am JR Blue. This is my new single. My new video release titled, I Care. And you heard it first on Southern Soul Live TV with Poker Jones. Thank you for your time, brother man. Hey, thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank hey, you. Um, You're looking at it on Facebook right now. You're looking at it on your Facebook page? I, I, I did. When you called me, I was still over at the shop. I, I couldn't even pull it up at the time. Okay. I'm going to pull it up now. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. share that video uh -huh. on the page and... Uh, Oh, absolutely, absolutely. What I was going to say to you, man, yeah. I love that. I love your record, man. Uh, the video blessing. Is What's the record? Is um. Okay, right. Yeah, you can hear me. Yes, sir. 
Uh huh. That record of what is it? It's blessing, ain't it? Right. Man, Lord. Yeah, Jack. I, he already introduced the video like minutes ago, bro. Like thirty seconds ago. Damn, bro. I just wanted us to roll together, full of love and happiness. I never thought I'd feel so much pain, so much pain. We share the night you were lonely. You knew I would be there. So when you open up your eyes, you see that I care. Cause I care. I care. I care. I care. I care. I care. Let JR Blue, let Junior Blue know what you thought about his new video called I Cared. He's in the comments right now. He's actually watching the video. He's on the live if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, if you're on YouTube, wherever you're watching us on social media. Please let JR Blue, Junior Blue, know what you thought about his new v video, and it's called I Cared. I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's a real movement going on. With soul and blues all over the world, and this will be the main, the forefront music that people listen to. You know why I say that? Because we live in a universe that where everything goes around, comes around. And as I think back in the past, I could have swore it all started with soul and blues music, right? So once again, everything goes around, comes around. So mainly, that's probably why I'm doing what I'm doing. Maybe it's just a season for me to do what I'm doing. Because we all know it's about to come back to soul and blues because that's where all music originated from. So that's probably why God gifted me to do and push me toward me doing what I'm doing right now. Uh, I want to give a shout out to one of the late greats, Mel Waiters. What y'all know about Mel Waiters, man? Mel Waiters has a great story 
every artist has a great story once they make it to where they want to be uh, you know, success wise as an artist, when you make it to your pinnacle, your, your pedestal, where you want to be as an artist, you always have interviews and you tell people where you came from and how do you get to this point. Here's an interview with Mel Waiters in his studio telling you of how he got his start in music. Here's Mel Waiters on Southern Soul Live TV with Poker Jones. Let's go, Jack. It's just, it's been a journey to where if it expired today, I would not be disappointed because I, I, I've come from, from, from an era that I'm, that I'm proud of. Got me a summer job working with a guy by the name of Tommy Calvert, got me my first uh, uh, summer job. I was excited. My grandmother dropped me off. And uh, uh, later on, after getting a uh, summer job with Tommy, uh, he also introduced me to the Domino family, which owned a radio station here called KEDA Radio, a jalapeno radio with Weta Pocus, uh, Ricky Domino, and the rest of the guys. And it was like an intern shift there. And uh, I, you know, did did look. I didn't do jingles because I really was not span. I couldn't speak Spanish at the time. But I did little things around the station that introduced me to radio. And after getting my radio, my my, my third class and with endorsement nine license, I would always walk when I would walk from uh, Della Rosa over to Woolsworth on the corner of uh, of Houston and uh, downtown there, across from the, the old post office building, I would walk around the Travis Street where KAPE Radio was, which uh, you could, a lot of people would drive by and wave with the jocks in the window, and uh, walk by and wave with the jocks in the window. That was Cherry Man, that was Joe Gunn, that was uh, Rudy Green, that was Jess Sesmo, and uh, a number of guys. Doc Holliday was doing radio, Moselle Wilson, all of these were early, early radio pioneers here, and, and, and uh, having my radio license, but I was intern over at uh, KEDA with, 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 uh, uh, with uh, Rick Dobbler then. So this particular afternoon, I walked by, and I would always go by and speak to Rudy Green. And one particular afternoon, I walked by, went by the station. Uh, I would always come by and just speak, because I told him I wanted to get in the radio. And this particular afternoon, I walked uh, on the side of the post, post office and took that little right turn and went into uh, uh, to the station. And he says, wait, just come here. So I went in, followed him around the wall, went in the back. He said, go get your key made. And I didn't know what the key was for. So I went over to Woolsworth, got me one of those big, huge donuts. Tommy know who, what I'm talking about. They used to have these big jelly glazed donuts that you buy huge man you can feed, feed a family of five with one donut but I got the donut and got me a drink a uh, soda pop and uh, walked back with the key and I said hey Mr. Green here are the keys he said one of those keys is yours and you're gonna start uh, Saturday morning and man tell me he gave me that key and when I walked out of the building I was just like boohooing walking from there back to tell your dad then that I'd gotten hired by Cape Radio, which was really the local popular AM Sun Up to Sundown station. And I was truly, truly blessed. And I was over excited and I was forever in debt to, to, to Tommy because him and my cousin Bobby Roberts, which passed away a few years ago, they also got me uh, a situation where I performed Take Pride in the East Side and all of these different events that got me exposure. But nothing as big as radio. Get on your feet and let's go to the hall the ball, yeah. Don't the by Tell me about some of the um, artists that you uh, have worked with. Um, well, Bobby Womack. Betty Wright, Bobby Bland. I produced Lattimore three years ago. Uh, man, I've worked with 
you name them. Uh, I've opened for a number of them. Uh, Clarence Carter, uh, the Manhattans, uh, Shirley Murdoch, Zap. Uh, my Hole in the Wall remix with one was with one of Zap's members. Um, just man, just to name a few. I work with everyone. I have to be really honest. Uh, from which God has taken me from, uh, from the projects in 2402 Del Rear. Uh, I've been on the Tom John a cruise. Uh, uh, I was invited there. Uh, Holding the wall took me there uh, with Babyface, uh, Charlie Wilson, uh, Frankie Beverly. I've worked with a number of times. It's, I've worked with everyone, a lot of the, the, the main, the hard hitters in the business, uh, I've worked with them and uh, uh, I can honestly say to my fans and my friends and uh, everyone here in San Antonio that God has really taken me from, 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 from ground level to another level that I, I had no idea that I would get here. When I first began, uh, I was uh, opening for Johnny Taylor, Tyrone Davis, Little Milton, and uh, those guys have passed away and right now Mel Waiters is considered one of the new legends out there now, which I really was trying to define legend, but uh, I'm blessed. I'm loved uh, from here to uh, the state of Maryland, to the Carolinas, to my hottest markets right now is North and South Carolina, uh, Florida, Georgia. It's just a real nationwide thing. I, I, I go everywhere. Uh, um, June 26 is a real uh, big event for me. I'm closing for the Monterey Blues Festival in Monterey, California, which is a real uh, top of the line event. And the OJs are there the Friday night, and then I'm closing the Saturday night. So. I work Reno every year uh, for the Reno Festival. I do a lot of festivals and I tour every year for, for three months out of the year. I do a real strong tour that lasts for about uh, three months and then I do work continuously actually out the year. I'm a working audience but um, once again God has taken Melvin Waiters from, uh, from the East Terrace Projects to boy in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea with Tom Joyner looking down at dolphins and some blue water that I had no idea eating syrup sandwiches and ketchup sandwiches from Vivian Waiters that I would make it that far and uh, I'm blessed and honored. That was Mel Waiters, ladies and gentlemen. That was his testimony. That man said he came from eating syrup sandwiches to being on the cruise with Tom Joyner. Tell me God ain't good. He followed his dreams. He didn't do nothing special. He didn't do nothing complicated. And he damn sure didn't do nothing hard. Because when you follow your dreams and you follow your heart, it comes natural, ladies and gentlemen. And that's for everybody out there. Follow your dreams. Follow your heart. or Whatever you're trying to do. Here's a, one of my brothers in the soul and blues movement. He has his own sound. His name is Jay Crows, and here's one of his hot videos. It's called Alone on Southern Soul Live TV with Poker Jones.
Ladies and gentlemen, we got him in the comments. He's right now. He's